Good morning, everyone. Just me this morning. Happy day after Christmas, if you celebrate that. Uh, did you guys, if you celebrate, did you guys do anything? Um, I didn't really do much. <laughs> I ate pasta. Um, and then I'll wait for everybody to come in and... Oh, look, there's my mom. Good morning, mom. Just wait for everybody to get to get themselves settled into um, the chat. Uh, we'll probably have a short little stream today, and it's our last live stream of the year. It is. That's kind of crazy. Um. Hillary just caught up with some family. That's good. Anybody do anything over this holiday season? Did you guys stay quarantined? Um, do you guys have any plans for the new year? Um, let's hear it. Like I said, it'll be a short one today since just by myself, but it's the day after Christmas. And I guess I'll also see how many people are watching and how chatty you guys are. It's kind of cold here today. It's in the 30s. When I when I woke up earlier, it was in the it's 36 right now, 36 degrees Fahrenheit. That's kind of chilly for Florida. Um, I actually put on the heat for a little bit yesterday. Just for a little bit. I don't need to run on my heat bill. So, I guess the chat is lagging because I don't see any any chatting when my cat. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we'll probably just do our our profiles of the week are actually Christmas themed, so we can look at those. We'll look at the photos of the week and yeah um my mom yeah my mom and my dad went fishing yesterday and my mom says iguanas are falling off the trees hello pam then we have alan le borvo on facebook says we're an excellent free site for genealogy research thank you alan <laughs> Kay says on the RV forum, folks in Florida were complaining about the cold. Yeah, it's kind of cold for Florida right now. Um, I don't know if I said hi to Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah, it is. It's it's chilly. Definitely chilly. Okay. Well, I guess I'll kind of just go into... We can talk about the profiles of the week already. Um, let's see. Let me share my screen. Okay. So, can you guys see it? Yeah, I think so. So, the profiles of the week we have Bing Crosby, because we have all our theme this week was Christmas crooners. So people who were in um, Christmas themed movies or a crooner of numerous Christmas carols and tunes. So we had a whole bunch of those like Bing Crosby. And then we also have Ella Fitzgerald. We have a whole, we have a, we have a good crowd for the, our profiles of the week this week. We have Burl Ives, Eves Montad, and we also have Nat King Cole. Eves Montad is from Italy, an Italian one. Then we have Nat King Cole, Anissa. African American singer, born Nathaniel Adams Cole. And we have Dean Martin, born Dino Paul, 
approach Hetty. And who else do we have? Who are, and who are you guys close, most closely connected to? I haven't checked yet. So there's Jean Autry. Rose, I'm just gonna open up Rosemary Clooney and Frank Sinatra. You know, obviously Frank Sinatra. So Jean Autry from Texas, known as a singing cowboy. Then we had Rosemary Clooney. And then Frank Sinatra, old blue eyes. So those are our profiles of the week. Which ones were you guys most closely connected to? So let's see what you guys were saying. So, okay, so we have Tommy here from the Bayou State. He says it's 42 there, that's pretty cold. Um, let's see, Hillary was getting some leftover roast potato and stuffing. Are you eating that now, Hillary? And um, are we related to Frank Sinatra? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, let's see. Let's see if we're connected. Let me go. Hold on. My hair is kind of doing its own thing this morning. Um, let's see how I am connected to all these people. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so I'm most closely connected to Jean Autry. Um, so on my grandmother's side, as usual. Let's see how Frank Sinatra. Kind of funny on my grandma. <laughs> Still my grandma's side through marriage and stuff. I wonder if there is a common ancestor. No, sorry, no common ancestor. It's but almost close to connect to Jean Autry. Eh. So, um, hello, Jory, Jory Jordan, and Hillary says she's most closely connected to Bing Crosby and Burl Ives. Um, so we had some good profiles this week. Yes, yes. There they all are. Beautiful. Oh, Ella. Well, we're connected to all of them in theory. Mom, let's see. Relationship to me. Connection wise, yes, 24 degrees through marriage. So Ella Fitzgerald, but we don't have a common ancestor, unfortunately. Okay. Now, that was, anybody have any, you guys have any questions? Let me know. You can also go onto these profiles and read them yourselves, but let's look at Tell them we're going to zip through this today. Unless you guys have um, some questions. So family photos this week. The theme was ending. It's the, last, it's the last week of the year, guys. It's ending. So that's why we <laughs> the theme of ending. So we'll look at these photos real quick. And we can, and then we'll talk a little bit about next year and about the weekly challenge. And, and then we'll probably head off. So this is James Porter in the year he retired from teaching in England in 1917. Oh, that's a sad one. Alvin Porter along with his 12 children on the day of their mother's funeral. That is an ending, fortunately. And look, all of them are tagged. I love it when everybody is tagged in the photo. And we have father-in-law, father and son-in-law. I wonder what this, this one says. I guess we'll look at the, the, the forum post to see. So Alice Roosevelt Johnson with their great-granddaughter, Mrs. Sinclair, 
Missy Sinclair Barian. <clears throat> And then we have Floyd Jeanette and B at the Ticon Tongaroga. What is that? can anybody enlighten me on at the Ticonderoga? I don't know what that is. Can anybody enlighten me? Oh, it's a steamship. Could have just scrolled down. End of an era. I guess so it's the end of the the ship's era. <clears throat> Then we have ending university with a double degree. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> this might be another <clears throat> graduation photo of a class. 8A. Oh, that's kind of a really sad photo. Neff Brothers Morning Dog. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay, moving on. Three generations. That's cool. I wonder how they they um, interpreted endings. Let me see if you guys have said anything. <clears throat> Ticonderoga. Thank you, Kay. <clears throat> um. Okay. Never use a Sharpie on a photo, says Chris. Okay, I'll go back. Let's go back to the photos. So we have, um, what's this one say? Oh, it's a burial. So, an ending. It's kind of sad. Let's go to the next page. Retirement. That's a newspaper article. Around the world and... Does that say 20 years? 30 years. So retired. That's cool. Well, that was it. That was the last photo. But let's look at the form real quick to see if any any other photos were there, any stories with the photos. Okay, here's one. This one says, my great-grandmother Phoebe Morris Long was, in the words of her best friend, always pleasant and kind to all. All who knew, all who knew her, never speaking ill of anyone. When the ending of her life on Earth came, her husband, and all twelve of her children, very sad. This is a December nineteen thirty four photo. Um, then we have the, um, the double degree graduation ending and ending. And then this one, I think we can all agree, at the end of eighth grade is worth celebrating. Aren't we glad that we don't have to repeat our middle school years? I wholeheartedly agree. <laughs> oh, look, this one. I love I love photos with horses in them. Okay, so this is a photo shows my paternal grandmother with her older sister, Betty, and a cousin on horseback. This photo was taken on the occasion of the silver wedding anniversary of Betty and Emma's parents in 1911 on their parents' farm in Germany. It fits the theme endings because the girls are seen here with the horse. Shortly after, their father bought the first machines for farm work, initiating the end of work horses on the farm. Interesting. It's a nice photo. So what was this one? Oh, this one we weren't sure. So it took 16 days in 1925 to complete this ending. Both my great-great-grandfather and great-grandfather left this earth about two weeks apart. Oh, they were both living on the family home in Assumption, Illinois, at the time of their departure. Um, let's see. This is my great-grandfather, James Porter, 1917, the year he retired from teaching. Oh, this was a sad one. Mourning the loss of their dog. Oh, run over by, oh, run over by a car. How sad. So this, this is a photo I didn't see. James still a bird. My maternal grandmother's uncle's life ended suddenly at age 47. He was a saloon keeper. We don't know the details, but one theory is that he may have died while trying to break up a bar room brawl. <clears throat> Interesting. So one of the most emotional and memorable endings for me was the first death I ever experienced, the end of my maternal 
great grandmother's life. We lived two doors down from great grandma, Alice Johnson, through her death on December 20. Oh my gosh, it would have been and today's an anniversary for that. How, how sad. She spent that Christmas with us, went home, and then the last, and that was the last we saw her alive. This is the photo of her night. Her and me taken in about 1970. Oh. And, that, and that's pretty much it. That was kind of a sad look at endings. Some good endings, some bad endings. Well, not bad, just sad. Um, okay. <clears throat> I didn't see any comments come through. So... So this is the last live stream of 2020. Um, we will have a live stream next Saturday. It'll be a little different. I'm gonna be doing a intro about the Wiki Tree Challenge. I've kind of already talked about it, um, but it'll be kind of an official intro to the Wiki Tree Challenge. And then that Wednesday will be our first special guest. Um, I believe, yeah, it's AJ, but the 6th, yeah, that Wednesday is the 6th, so AJ Jacobs will have on at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, um, so that'll, I can't believe that's next week, that's kind of crazy, um, and then, <laughs> then, yeah, so I won't really go deep this time into the Wiki Tree Challenge, you just have to wait till next week, um, We'll kind of, I'll kind of be, will there be a new little intro? And then um, hopefully we'll have, it won't just be me next week, but understandably it's the holidays. So that's why I was, I just decided to come on. Um, I knew there would probably be a few of you to be watching and I appreciate you guys coming on. Um, why are we talking about CC Moore? Oh, 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 I see, I see. Hillary says she met AJ Jacobs in Roots Tech in 2015. Yeah, he's, he he has his, one of his books. I actually have it. It's all relative. He actually mentions Wikitree. He has a Wikitree profile. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of, trying to get big name people. Um, Chris says he has some genealogists. And so if you guys know of any let us know and does anybody have any questions i don't really have much to say at this time so besides next next saturday is january 2nd of 2021 and i will be here probably with some other people we'll talk we'll be doing an intro about the Wiki Tree Challenge, and we'll do a little, we'll do also do kind of what we normally do on Saturdays, and then Wednesdays now we'll do one each Wednesday with our special guest talking about the Wiki Tree Challenge. This this 2021, then we really folk we're focusing on this Wiki Tree Challenge, and I am really excited. Um, Hillary knows a few genealogists. Um, so if you want to get in touch with them, Hillary, to see if they want to be, be part of our wiki tree challenge, you should reach out. Well, I think that's it. Do you guys, do you guys have any questions in general, anything before I leave about anything? Um, I guess like, we can talk about the question of the week real quick. What What's on your wish list for Wikitree improvements in 2021? I guess we can talk about that real quick and see what people have said. Ooh, the 75 answers. So I'm just going to browse through this real quick. Um, so some people want to change the order of the images on the profiles. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything. See if I see anything really good. Because there's 75 answers, I'm not going to go through all of them. Somebody wants a huge, would be a comprehensive, simplified, thoroughly indexed table of contents. 
alphabetical table of contents. Hmm. Well, we do have our help page. Let me actually share my screen again, sorry. <laughs> so table of contents, our, and AO and linked our help index. We do have our help index all alphabetized if you're able to find stuff. And we also have a little search help. You can search the help pages. So if you're looking for something in particular, you are able to search it. So there's that. A research checklist. I think that would be pretty cool. And apparently Jamie, our, one of our team members who does um, some techie stuff, <laughs> she has, it's on her future item. She had, there's actually a link to a free space page here. That's pretty cool. And so research worksheet instruction. That's cool. That's, I'll have to look at that. So, so this question was also kind of to give the team an idea of what you guys would want in the next coming years, because we do take your input for when we're, when improvements and changes are made to Wikitree. So Linda says, when Professor created for people with a date over a hundred years ago, I wish the default messages would not show or allow personal knowledge or sources or sources would be at the later. Um, So the same thing um, when when we add a profile of somebody over 100 or 150 years old, you can't use unsourced family tree. Um, and just some other things. Um, I wish that anyone joining had to build their own tree back to the year 1800 or four or five generations fully and properly sourced before they could do anything else. She also wishes for world peace. <laughs> so a lot of these things are big wish wishes that maybe won't happen, but it'll give us what you guys want or want to see in Wikitree. Better reports and charts. Well, that's probably a good idea. Report for individual profile, comprehensive family group sheet, an F, F, I can never say this word, a Nefental report for as many generations as desired, a register report for as many generations as desired, and ancestry charts for the desired generation. So we do have that fan chart. Um, I think that'd be cool, the more better reports and charts if you wanted to print stuff out. Um, I know I heard, I saw one, I know people have been asking for an app for Wikitree. That's probably a little bit more difficult than, than people think, but our Wikitree is mobile friendly. Um, so you can use it on your phone. We have modified a lot of Wikitree to make it mobile friendly. Um, Every year I ask Wiki Santa for follow button on profiles. If you click it, the profile is added to your feed, unclick, and it stops appearing on your feed. So it's kind of like adding it to your watch list and unadding it to your watch list. That's That'd be it. I guess if you want to follow a profile without having to ask to be on the trusted list. That's a probably a good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's see if anything else is good on here. Do you guys, did you guys have any um, suggestions for 2021 wiki tree improvements on your wish list? Um, so this one, so tie births to mothers instead of fathers. So when poly, poly, Gamus fathers have many children born with a few months of each other. It doesn't trigger a warning message every time you make a change. Um, let's see. A button, a button to click that inserts find a grave formatting code. And you just put the memorial number. Okay. And a lot of people are commenting about 
like, oh, maybe there is something like this that you can use over here, like Wikitree Plus. Um, Wikitree Plus does a lot more than people think. And if you're not having haven't played around with Wikitree Plus, I definitely recommend it. So a lot of people are mentioning DNA stuff, but I'm not even going to read that because I'm not knowledgeable enough in DNA to um, do that. So there is... But, so Peter Roberts to mention a couple different DNA things. Have the option for direct paternal line relationship. And he has links here, direct maternal line relationships. Um, more DNA stuff. Oh, able to search just within my tree alone, which we do have, some, which people mention. You can actually search your own watch list right here. Um, so I wanted to search for my... Uh, so all the people who are on my watch list, not necessarily related to me, but just people who are on my watch list. To remove the middle name field, or one field for all given names, I know that they were working on that. And my wish is a simple one to have a little box to click on for no spouse next to add spouse the same for adding children. Somebody wants to open a dynamic tree in one fell swoop. One, I, the biggest change I hope to see will be implemented one day is multilingual in the main pages. I know we're, we are working on translating everything, um, but we also need help translating everything. Um, so if you, anybody wants to volunteer to help translate stuff on the Wikitree pages, please let us know. I'm um, probably going to stop this in a moment unless I see. Let's see. Let's see. In search, I wish for a middle name field to be included. Well, you can, in the first name field, you can also put the middle name field when you're searching in that first name. Like, you can put both, like George Powell Callis. Oh, no. My cat pressed some stuff, but you can. Oh, didn't really work how I wanted to. I guess, I guess, in theory, these, these ones should have been put. Well, I guess because there is no George Powell. Let's see if I would have done Gerald Powell. I don't even know my own ancestors. Oh, you see? So those, they popped up first. So. Um, let's see. My cat is being ridiculous. Oh, Laura had a good one. I like to see step-by-step -step instructions on how to do queries in Wikitree Plus. I have to hunt for snippets of info that are not always clear on how to write the query. Anybody know if there's a help page for querying Wikitree Plus? I know we had Elesh on one time to talk about Wikitree Plus. Search. Here's some stuff. For searching, so but I know there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can search for is not on the help page, so I that wouldn't be a bad idea. A way to add sources to facts, like you see in any standard genealogy software, it's not a bad idea. I guess that's also when you're building a biography, you add the inline text to it. That is one way you could do that on your own. And someone adding onto your their own wish list to work more diligently on my genealogy, thus hopefully helping all of us at some degree. That's a good thing to have on your wish list. And uh, so someone says I would like other nicknames fields be renamed to name variants. 
someone, Amy, says, Amy, hi, I'd like the interface change so the inline citations are pasted in the sources section and some mechanism implements a link directly to statement in the bio being sourced. <clears throat> Ability to select no middle name when creating a profile. Oh, yes, it's not, it's not, able, you're not able to check it when you're creating a profile, but you can go and edit it later to click no middle name. <clears throat> And that's pretty much it. That's our question of the week. Yes, and there's lots um, of, yes, there's a lot of stuff for Wikitree Plus on the help page. So I'm curious as to what they were specifically wanting. I guess all the different way, all the different combinations you could use, but I think that'd be infinite. So, but our help pages are really good. If you ever, I think, I think you can find almost anything on our help pages and that search for the help pages really helps. <laughs> um, Cause we used, we used to not have a search for the help pages. So it would be a little difficult to find stuff sometimes, but now with that search field, you, even if you, you can also search on that main search page if you scroll all the way down. Um, I can show you real quick, actually. You can search the, if you're here, you can go all the way down and search here as well. All Wikitree pages, categories, images, help pages. So that's another way you can search for anything on Wikitree. So, my, Let's see. So yes, if Hillary says I need an easier way to add profiles to a free space page so I can create a list of people I want to work on improving. That I yeah, if you're if you're using your free space page to organize your information, definitely. Um well, that's about it guys unless you have any questions or anything you want to add I'm probably gonna go I'm not doing anybody have any plans today I'm not doing much besides just being at home probably eating some I have some leftover gingerbread house that I made well I didn't make it but I built the gingerbread house and I have leftover and I'm going to eat it that's what I'm going to do and I also have some pumpkin pie I'm going to eat pumpkin pie. That'll probably be a late breakfast that I'm about to have. And with that, I will see you all in the new year. Happy New Year. Hope everybody had good holidays. I wish everybody a really good new year. Okay, says she's releasing an app update today. Ooh la la. And tea time here. Hillary. T also does not sound bad. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.